But congratulations to Raw setting another record this week. All-time low third hour. All-time low 18 to 49. Great job. What do you want me to say? Not much to say other than, well, they have tonight to look forward to, now don't they? Because that, that's been working out pretty well for them in the last couple of weeks. You know, I, I was in the middle of, of looking at a bunch of stuff, and apparently, I'm saying apparently because I haven't seen it yet, because the, everything here just collapsed, you know, 20 minutes before the show went on the air. Of course. But apparently there was a report by PW Insider that NXT is looking for writers. Because <laughs> you know, they're, ha- they need, they're having right? problems against AEW. And I don't like to regurgitate my stuff, but I have not, I don't think I've talked about this on this show. I talked about it on the Brian and Vinny show. Do you realize that the last thing that NXT needs is like a bunch of writers, okay? You know what they need? They need to do what they were doing before they went on the USA Network. Do you know what they were doing before they went on the USA Network? Do you know what they were doing when they won best TV show in the Observer Awards, I believe five times. You know what they were doing? They were doing the same thing that AEW is doing right now. They were booking a television show. They weren't worried about competition. They were building up matches for takeover events. And the show was great. Well, now that they're on the USA Network... You know, the reason they went to the USA Network on Wednesdays was to have a wrestling war. This was a war they started. I know everyone likes to say, oh, well, AEW didn't have to go on Wednesdays. You're right, they didn't have to go on Wednesdays. They didn't want to go on Wednesdays. They wanted to go on Tuesdays. That's why they trademarked Tuesday Night Dynamite. But in fact, TNT decided they wanted to go Wednesdays. So it wasn't even a war that AEW started. It was a war NXT started, and now they booked the show like they're in a war. AEW doesn't book the show like they're in a war. They just book the show every week. Well, what do we got coming up next? Well, we got Fighter Fest, so let's build towards Fighter Fest. And then, you know, we got a show coming up, uh, all in, all out. I, I don't even remember the. I think it's all out over over uh, Labor Day weekend and and double or nothing, whatever. But anyway, the point is they got that show coming up, and so they're building to that show. NXT is completely reactionary. And they're getting killed. Because as we've mentioned a million times, it's a broken record. When you hot shot, you can win a week or two, but then you get thrashed. Because you can't hot shot if you want things to be great in the long run. Go back to what you were doing before. Yeah, you're head-to-head on Wednesdays, but book the show like you're just trying to book a great wrestling show. Which Paul seemed to do just fine all by himself. When they won five straight, that was, I think it was four straight years and one other year, but they won over and over Best Show in the Observer Awards. Then they decided to go to war and be reactionary. Now they're getting killed. Maybe the problem isn't that you need more writers. Because last time I checked, Ron SmackDown got a lot of writers, and they're getting thrashed here. The one show that isn't getting killed in the middle of this pandemic is the show that doesn't have 50 writers. They got one guy who's booking a show, everybody has a little bit of input, and everything seems to be just fine. Maybe there's a lesson to be learned here. They're not going to learn it because they're completely missing the point on this. Again, simple pro wrestling that they are just too smart for. Vince is just too much for. They create movies now and all that. Have a goal in mind. Book backwards from that goal. Make minimal changes. Only change it when you absolutely need to. And probably good things are going to happen. And that's the way it has been for NXT. It's the way that show has worked. It's the way that show has thrived and flourished. It would do the same against AEW. It may not win every rating, every demographic, every this, every that. But the show would be far easier to watch. And I don't think would atrophy in the way that it's doing. But... They're going to continue to do what they're going to do because that's what Vince does. It's just how you can throw more writers at something and make it work. I don't know when they've been doing this with Raw and SmackDown for years. You know, another thing, again, I hate to say I told you so, but when NXT was taping like four or five weeks of TV all at one time, and then they went to the USA Network, I said, this going live is going to be a negative. Because they're going to be able to change things every single week. How do you do long-term planning when you change things every single week? Well, you don't. 
Back when they would do five straight shows, guess what? You can't change your mind. Actually, exactly. Vince showed that you actually can change everything, even though the show's already taped, because he did it this past Monday, which is a miracle. But, like, if you tape five shows, like, you've taped five weeks. You've got a five-week-long set of tapings with consistent storylines week to week. But here we are live, and they tape two shows, and then they tape two shows again, and look what's happening.